Hello IFS University, this is Lance Goike, and today I'm going to run you through what I would suggest someone starting out learning anatomy purchase. Okay, the number one purchase is this anatomy coloring book here. Uh, they also have a physiology coloring book that I highly recommend if you want to learn physiology, but for this... Um, I really think coloring is the best way to go about learning stuff. And this is a great example of a page right here. Um, you'll you'll color the term that you're trying to learn, and then you'll be like, oh, yeah, areolar, okay, yeah. And then, bam. So skin, everything. One thing you may notice, if they'll let me show you, yeah, check this out. Okay, so... You got like 10 pages of body orientation, and then 20 pages of uh, cells, and then we get down to skeletal and muscular, and it's like half the book. <laughs> um, really good way to go about learning stuff. Again, this is the anatomy coloring book, and I'll give you guys all a link. Now, to supplement that, again, we don't want to spend a lot of money here, so... I would recommend you just go to this URL right here, Bartleby.com slash 107. And uh, this is a really old version of Grey's Anatomy, uh, but it's uh, public domain now, so it's totally free. So, like, I clicked on temporal bone earlier. Let's check this out. The osteology section, and then we get this image, and they talk about the squama zygomatic process, mastoid process, styloid process, ear hole, check it out. So easy enough. Um, just a great way. Like, and These are a lot of images that I think you'll be seeing more of because since they're public domain, we're allowed to use them in uh, videos that we might make. So I would suggest doing that. And it has everything and more that you could ever want again bartleby.com slash 107 slash joints look at that muscles myology this is great uh now back to the coloring book to go with that you need something to color with um i prefer colored pencils you can do crayons you can do markers whatever you want um i get a little i get i like these because i get the detail that i want just the right amount and it doesn't bleed so that's that don't mess with plastic pencil sharpeners they will bend and they will break and they will be frustrating just spend a couple dollars more <laughs> and get them aluminum one or i have a brass one now because it's so dope but uh, you probably don't have to spend eight dollars on a pencil sharpener i have a sickness um, now that's so this free this is 16 bucks four bucks a couple bucks right that's all you really need to start out and then this is probably what i would suggest purchasing next if you need a little bit more detail this uh, theme atlas of anatomy is on point <laughs> uh the I'm assuming this is kosher if we go through this, right? Um, so stuff like this, it keeps loading. I actually have two versions of this. Um, I have the second edition in print. This is my favorite image in the book, too. So you see these little notches here? That's where the rib heads connect to the vertebrae. And so it are like one rib head articulates with both of them. And this image allowed me to more easily picture how rib rotation occurs with vertebral rotation. So if you think like if this vertebra is rotating to the right, so this spinous process comes towards me, this front of the body comes away from us, then my rib head down here is rotating downward yes got it okay um really cool picture lots and lots of really cool pictures useful tables it's all computer generated um, but the the detail level that you're going to get is a lot better uh, if you're not looking for that kind of detail there's a book called anatomy in black 
that's, I would say, a little bit more art than science, but it's very, very clear, and that's why I'm recommending it. If you if you don't want this level of detail that you'll see in the theme Atlas of Anatomy, I would eventually suggest you get this regardless. Um, the I don't know if I finished mentioning it. The second edition I have in print, and the third edition I actually just bought um, in a Kindle version so that I can use it when I'm going places because the print edition is one paperback and two super super heavy so it doesn't travel well but my ipad does so that's why i did that so i actually have two copies of that um so clear i i mean it's just i bought it more as like a, a guilty purchase at this point but um you you got these the lines of the striations let's check out the diaphragm up there um, different, I mean, that's, that's just so cool. It's just so clear. Um, not totally necessary, but, uh, let me find it for you here. Um, cause you're not going to get all that detail that you're looking for later on, but it's, it's kind of a refreshing view to me. Um, also a, a decent gift I have gifted it before. That's what the book looks like. It's just black pages and gold writing. Um, but I will say that the cover is not very sturdy. And that's probably why it's so cheap. Man, that's cool though, right? All right, we got to move on. Uh, lastly, once you start to get away from just the, the dead guy anatomy, just basic structure of anatomy or location of anatomy, then you'll want to move on to how does this integrate into movement? And that's when I would go to Newman's Kinesiology of the Musculoskeletal System. There's a newer one coming out in November. If you can wait for it, I would suggest doing that. Um, this is a lot more reading, uh, whereas this kind of stuff is, is just great for pictures and being able to synthesize your own thoughts. This has a few more facts, I guess, would be the way I would put it. Um, I would, again, start here, and then you maybe move on to other things. Um, but 25 bucks, you get going, you start coloring a little bit every day, and eventually you know all of the anatomy, which is probably not possible, but... I'm just trying to motivate you. So any questions, just let me know. Thanks.